We thank you for so many truths in that last song, truth that your hope and light in this very present moment. Anyone in this room struggling, 
feeling the push and pull of darkness, your hope and light in this moment. But not just this moment, the age to come, when we gather around your throne with what Revelation says, multitudes and multitudes, and the sound of worship is like rushing of waters. Jesus, thank you for hope in this moment and hope in the age to come. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Man, so good to worship with you guys. We want to sing a song called Abide, and it's written out of John 15. Some of you may be familiar with this passage. I just want to read it over you. So as I read this, we just let the words just kind of fall on you. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. But if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit and prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. That passage, the Lord brought me to that passage a few years back. You ever have those passages of scripture where you study them for a little while and you think you're through with it? You know, you kind of kind of move on and then you find out that this passage is not through with you yet? That's how that passage has been for me the last two or three years. And I guess it's become in some ways like a life passage in my own heart. And this last year, you, know, you guys all know, I don't have to tell you how hard 2020 was for many of us. But you know, when things get stripped back from your life, you find out what's really there. And it's beautiful amazing as gatherings like this are, we get to be with one another, we get to hear one another's voices, we get to sit under the teaching of the word. As amazing as it is when that got stripped back, I think I found out personally what was left. New Testament says the believers gathered in the temple and homes, and when the temple got pulled back, for me, I was left at dinner tables, I was left just with my family, just me and the scriptures. And what, what God began to press into my heart was the loneliness I was experiencing in the last year, the, the darker parts of me that were coming to the surface. He began to teach me that abiding is not so much finding him in a moment or a space, but it's stepping into this Christ in me, Christ with me every single moment he's available. It's interesting, this last year, the numbers on loneliness and depression skyrocketing. And the numbers within the church and outside the church, not much different. And as I begin to look at my life and I think of all of us in this room, and Jesus says, I'm the vine, you're the branch. If the fathers love me, I love you. Abide in my love. Is there anyone in here that just longs for a deeper, more communing, every moment of every day type of life abiding in the vine. If that's you and you feel that in your heart and it's, it's like these moments are awesome but, but they, don't, they don't fulfill everything, the deepest part of who you are, it's because there is more. And so I wanna invite you, we're gonna teach you a song called Abide. I want to invite you to turn that longing for more into a prayer. Lord, teach me to abide. Come on, you sing this with us. my way 
for my sleep at night I depend on you Yes, I depend on you Depends. 